ready to catch the shuttle into Mammoth. And uh, there's a good view of the little A-frame cabin we stayed in last night. Uh, worked out really well with the four of us. Again, four beds. Uh, Plain room. saw a little video we did last night of it. But uh, again, interesting little place here. Again, they call it resort, but it's a slowly around more campground. And again, they got little cabins. Got, uh, got the outhouse there. They had another uh, room, a laundry room, and uh, shower facilities. Uh, luckily, our cabin had its own shower and stuff in it. But the uh, laundry worked out real well. Getting a little pricey here, but you know you get what to, get what you need. Plenty of food, you know, good portions for the price. And, um, but um, again, not much of a resupply. So we're gonna again do our thing in Mammoth, take the zero. I think Joe and and uh, Ken, Mr. Freeze, are needing to get some new shoes. So we're gonna go to an outfitter in Mammoth and take care of that. But again, this is a uh, this is kind of the vibe here at Red Meadows. So, all right, we're gonna finish packing up, getting ready, and again, the shuttle should be here in about 30 minutes, and then we'll be on our way. So we'll talk to you all then. Take care. <laughs> all right, spin the wheel. No filter, stepping up. Only at Kittredge Sports. Spin the wheel. Get, get, get a better deal. You get a better deal only at Kittredge Sports. Wow. Okay. You could be their spokesman. In Mammoth, California. Yes. Okay. All right. Very helpful people. Okay. Get on with it. <laughs> Ready? Yep. There you go. Twenty percent. Twenty percent. All right. On top of the sale price, brought that down to one oh eight seven. Wow. That's the that best is a price bargain. I've ever gotten. Great job. Air, a trailer. Great job, no filter. Yeah. All right. Thanks, Brian. You're welcome. Yeah. I watched a young man two summers ago with his family, back to back golds. Oh, oh my God. wow. The owner drove there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you're gonna get two more spin tickets when you buy it. All right, happy okay. trails. Thanks. You're welcome. Hey y'all, we have uh, we've made it to Mammoth, and we own uh, our third bus of this adventure, going from uh, Red's Meadow to get down into town, and we are going to find our hotel, see if we can drop our bags, and we're gonna go do some outfit, but it's a uh, Kind of the bus you've seen this deal before on many a YouTube video. Let's turn it around. Getting a chance to wind our way down through town. And eventually we're gonna get off the bus and start walking again. Maybe we'll get a couple miles in today. So that's the scoop. And uh we'll leave you with that. Tune in later. I'm sure we're gonna find a brewery. So what do we say guys? Happy trails. Yeah, got it done. See y'all later. All right, leaving the hotel. Great little kind of a four, four bedroom little room. Nice sunny sun coming up over there. But then as we look towards the mountain where we're going, it's a little socked in. What do you think, Rumbles? So the beginning of our last leg. Beginning of the last leg. Little, uh, skies are looking a little, uh, um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, a little foreboding. Yeah. New shoes to start the endeavor. So now we. No excuses now. Yeah, we're no going back. We gotta wear these puppies out. So we're heading up to get the bus to the lodge, and then from the lodge up to Red Meadows, and then Red Meadows into that crap. Yeah, it's chilly. All right, well, we're gonna shut it down. Keep you guys posted on the weather. Happy trails. We just got to the bus stop in the nick of time to get the 715. Lodge, and then we think we stay on the same bus to go to Red Meadow. But what was 
what's interesting is just before we turned the corner to go up to where the bus stop was, it started raining. And uh, so we had to stop, put on the, our shells on top to keep the puppies from getting wet. So we almost missed the bus. Hazel getting all ready to go. And then there's Mr. Rumble. He's probably looking at his phone. I'm yeah, I was trying to uh, get some storage on my phone. <laughs> oh, man. Delete some uh, pictures. Delete more pictures? Yeah. So. Rough life of a videographer. Yeah. So uh, we're going to take this curvy ride up. I think all of us got a little bit queasy in the stomach coming down because it was really... Really swervy. Well, that's it for now. We'll uh, check back in with y'all later. Happy trails. So, I don't know if y'all remember, it was maybe uh, five, six days ago, ran into a, a gal named Aloha on the trail. She told us about this weather that was coming in. You know, snow above 9,000 feet, and it could be coming in late Friday or Saturday. And so we were worried. And we kept checking weather reports. And at first, it, there were some confirmations on the websites you we went to. And then everything from two days ago on mentioned cool, colder temperatures, but no precipitation and no snow or anything like that. So get out of the hotel this morning. You saw those views. And uh, we're kind of getting up near the main lodge now. Ed, it's, it's hard to tell from this view, but it's a... Uh, changing from snow to rain, snow to rain, very um, yeah. <laughs> different than what we expected this morning. Uh, we'll, we'll, keep, we'll keep you posted. Happy trails. All right, we made our bus ride back up to Red Meadows. So this might look familiar to you from uh, the other day. It's just a light drizzle right now, but we were we were going through some uh, pretty good little bit of snow there, some heavy flakes and stuff on the way up. But luckily, it uh, is not here right now. What what we're hearing is that uh, it should start clearing out in a couple hours. Looks like we were kind of on the back end of it, and uh, we should be in pretty good shape. Trying to get our packs all set, get everything all dried up. Mr. Freeze and uh, Hazel over here getting all ready. Hazel has started the shivering. <laughs> yeah. A little chilly. I'm not sure what the temp is. Uh, my yeah, thermometer's had a chance to read yet. It says 47. Seems a little colder than that, but it could be just the, the drizzle. So, all right, well, we're finished uh, getting packed up and ready to go. And uh, we'll talk to you all a little bit later. Happy trails. If possible. <laughs> all right, we are working our way up. Got about a, I think like a 12 mile up. And uh, so it's nice and steady, but. You can kind of see what we're into here. The rain's been letting up a little bit. Now we're just kind of in this foggy, misty, yucky yeah. kind of stuff. So I'm not sure how much videos we'll be doing today. Uh, not sure we're gonna see a whole lot of views, but anyways, that's what we're into. So, all right, I'm gonna put this away and uh, we'll march on and we'll try to do some videos if uh, things clear up a little bit. Talk to y'all later. We're about, uh, I don't know, about three and a half hours into our hike and things are starting to clear up. Actually looking pretty good. We see some hints of uh, blue sky. Yeah, we've even seen our shadow a couple times. I know, the shadow came out to play with us. But, uh, Passed a couple other hikers and they say it snowed on them fairly good last night. Uh, which is sort of what they expected, but so far we haven't in encountered any we got a little bit of snow coming down on the way up here but yeah um, uh, but just uh just misty rain and, and everything it's looking so, pretty good yeah all right well we're gonna keep marching on march on to lunch march on to lunch we'll talk to you in a little while happy trails
Hey, buddy. Hey, what are those over there? Those are views. They're mountains, too. Clearing up a little bit. Yeah. So we had lunch right by the creek. I had tortilla, two tortillas, one with peanut butter and one with tuna, mayonnaise, garlic, onion, pepper, and salt powders. Wow. And you had tuna as well, didn't you? Just tuna and tortilla, that's it. Yeah. Well, yeah. then some crackers. Fritos. Fritos. Yeah. Think of cheese. A little bit of jerky. A little bit of jerky. Yeah, so it was good lunch. Yeah, it was good lunch. Got a nice little break. And yeah. that was at about our nine something mile point. 10 maybe? Yeah, we were at 10 at lunch. 10 at lunch. And uh, now we've got about six to go to get to where we want to be tonight. Now will give us roughly 18. Yeah, and we'll be at a lower elevation, so yeah. maybe not as cold. Yeah. Good deal. Yeah, it's still, uh, when that sun goes behind the clouds, it gets pretty chilly. So yeah. we're still bundled up. Yeah. So six miles to go, we'll be at lunch. If we get something else that looks gorgeous like Boy. this, We'll be sure to uh, take a video. So, uh, happy trails. All right, we're coming across. Uh, what's the name? Ram Lake. Was it Ram, Ram Lake? Ram Lake. I have to double check that. But uh, again, just another one of these beautiful lakes. Getting a little too chilly to get in it, but yeah, but really pretty. But really pretty. Probably some fishies in there. Yeah, it probably is. So, all right, we're going to keep marching on here looking for more lakes. We'll talk to you all in a little bit. Happy trails. Hey, guys, just uh, came up around this little corner. Got a great view of Lake Virginia and the mountains off in the distance and the cloud formations. Just pretty. Hey, uh, direction on our last lake was Lake Purple, or Purple Lake. Purple Lake, yeah. I think I said Ram Lake. I didn't get it right. You failed. I failed. Oh, this is beautiful. I looked this one up first. Lake Virginia. Take, it's like a money shot. Money shot. All right. Happy trails. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we are still working our way to our campsite for the night. But, but we <laughs> ran into a special guest star, Wabbit. Oh! And if any of you watched our videos from last year when we were around Big Bear, Big working Bear. our way up Go, to Big Bear. Going up to Coon's Cabin. Coming up to Coon's degrees. Cabin. Yes. <laughs> right. and, and, and was it the, the rainbow? Oh, yeah, the gal who picked us up? No, the, the, oh. you were talking about getting rainbows to the Rainbows and unicorns. Rainbows and, and unicorns, unicorns yeah. yes. We're looking for rainbows and yes. unicorns. But Wabbit was the uh, so, the star last year, just cutting trail. Yeah. and We were going through thigh deep snow oh, late in the day, gosh. trying to get to Coon's Cabin, working to make it. You were the one that was starting to said, guys, it's getting late. We need... We need to, we need to set camp. Yeah. <laughs> and then, and then everybody's still flying ahead. You just start uh, taking off that hill to the ridge. You get up where it was level ground. Yeah. I followed you. Dan, did him dance right behind. We're up there. The He's rabbit is out nice hiking. Uh, part of the which? which oh, website? I'm on the Sierra High Route. The Sierra High Route. By, it's a route that Steve Roper, who is actually someone who I know um, from the climbing circles. Um, he's from Berkeley, and he des designed this route back in the '80s and updated the route with some friends in the 90s and now it's you know kind of a popular thing like yeah. people do it they have a, it's a book a book called traversing timberline country oh, and cool, now that cool. it's on your video a lot of more people are going to be doing it i'm sure they will <laughs> but i can probably say but, that i won't be <laughs> <laughs> it is yeah if you have mountaineering experience it's, yeah. it's definitely it's like a mountaineers through hike someone okay oh, okay well that yesterday. counts me out yeah 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 because yeah. because i like dirt <laughs> yeah. D-U-R-T. Well, I've had plenty of dirt. I did see some snow, and I did walk on some snow, in fact. But we for did. the most part, I avoided it. We My therapist said once. not to do we that anymore. We walked on snow once this trip. <laughs> yeah, we did. Yeah. Well, it's yeah. great seeing you. What? I'm glad this worked out. Yeah, this is yeah, an amazing coincidence. It is. It is. It's only is. like a few miles that there was a chance that we would see each other. Yeah. Well, that's pretty cool. Because I've been cool. going north since several like 100 miles that way <laughs> and you guys just came out of here so yeah. you've been coming south from yeah all the way from quincy yeah. so yeah how we met here i'm just so happy it is yes. it is Yay! all right happy trails happy trails <laughs>
What a great visit seeing Rabbit. Oh, that was Chatting great. with her, that was so much that fun. That was fun. And now, look at his view. We left her about 15 minutes ago and ran into a pack load of people yeah. coming up the hill. Yeah. Must have been a dozen. And they were all doing this climb. But what a great view. This valley down there. I think that's Fox Creek, the creek we're gonna go to. Could be. <sighs> Million dollar yeah, eggs. Pretty, pretty, pretty. But we gotta keep rolling because yeah, it's getting colder. It's getting colder. We gotta set camp and get water. All right, well, happy trails. All right, we just finished our first day of our last segment. Yep. And um, I think we got. I think we're playing on five days, so we only got four left. We got four left. See how and it this, shakes out. And this maybe. journey will be uh, be completed. Maybe it'll but, be some, maybe some big miles. Later, yeah, but yeah. Maybe it'll be four days, but I think four and a short five yeah. would be nice. Yeah, that will yeah. be. But, uh, but we had a great day today. I mean, we uh, you saw all the videos. We uh, started out in the rain. <laughs> <laughs> started about eight thirty, um, and then uh, you know, luckily things just gradually cleared as the day went on. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But with that said, it was it's been cold. Yeah. You know, the, particularly when the wind's blowing and stuff. So. You check the temperature on your thing. Right there. Where is it at? Right there. <clears throat> Please hold. We'll be right back with you right after this commercial it's break. 45. Yeah, yeah. It's already down to 45. It's 45. It'll drop at least another 15. Yeah, we're kind 20. of. Ex yeah, we're expecting it to be uh, below freezing tonight. Yeah. So we'll be sleeping with water filters and fuel canisters. <laughs> yeah. you know, hopefully, it'll be room for us. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, so we did uh, how much? Uh, we did 18.1-ish miles, and we did over 4,100 in ascent and 2,500 in descent. So it was a lot yeah. more in ascent than I thought, but fortunately, there wasn't too much real steep stuff. A few sections, but... Yeah. Um, <clears throat> and tomorrow... Tomorrow, yeah. Tomorrow, tomorrow we got a we got a tough day tomorrow. A lot, of, a lot of big climbs. So we'll have to see how we, how we do and how far we go. Yeah, just like for giggles... If we do close to 22 miles, we'll have almost, we'll have 5,400 in a cent. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> but we may want to do it just to stay warm. We may but, want that, yeah. Yeah. Uh, tomorrow, I, I think tomorrow morning is supposed to be the cold, coldest it's going to be this week. Then I think it's supposed to start warming up. I, think it was, I so, heard maybe it was going to be around 26 or something, but we'll see. Yeah, we'll see. Get up, get up and start moving. We'll warm up. Yeah. Just don't come climbing in my tent to get warm this time, okay? I'm going to go get Susan's buddy's dog. <laughs> yeah, we met uh, Susan and uh, the group that she's with and uh, the dog. And uh, it was great talking to you, Susan. We really enjoyed it. Uh, but, yeah, we may you know, get the dog to try to keep warm. So, But I think that's about it. Um, again, good day overall in spite of starting out with a lot of question marks. Yeah, everything um, we'd heard, it was <laughs> everything we'd seen on the media was saying that there wasn't going to be any precipitation and everything would be okay. And the first thing we see in the morning is it was raining yeah. on us at the bus stop. At the bus stop and then snow yeah. on the way up to Red Meadows. So. All right, let's All right, we're, grass, we're yes, so we're going to cut we're going to cut this here and uh, try to dive into our tents and start warming up. Yeah. So Happy trails. Happy trails. We'll see you all tomorrow. I'll turn this around real quick and show you our, our uh, tenting area. So take care. Right. Talk to you in a little bit. All right. This is uh, where we're tenting tonight. You can see my humble abode there. Joe. Got Mr. Freeze back here in the trees and then Hazel is way back in here. She found a nice niche. Way back in there. You can see her tent. Kind of following the sun there and you'll see hers. And then uh, Elizabeth has joined us tonight. I don't know if I can see her tent. We met her at, uh, oh, there it is. You can follow the sun there. Uh, we met her there at Red Meadows. And, uh, so she's going to be tenting around us tonight. So I think it's about it. You know, again, um, Susan and her gang over there. But I think that's about it. So we will talk to you all in the morning.